Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. As you can see, Art and I are with the lovely Michelle Fabrega, our love and relationship coach. Michelle, it's always good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, John. Good to see you and Art, too. Hi, nice Michelle. To I have a question for you. Uh, most of the stuff, sometimes we deal with difficult topics, uh, but you always look for resolutions. And so that's great. And that's why you're a love and relationship coach. But sometimes it just doesn't work. And for those people, when they're in a relationship, they try it. Maybe they try very hard. Maybe it's doomed from the beginning, whatever. It, but it gets to the point where it breaks up. But some people still are even though it's probably the best thing for them to do, have to deal with the breakup and they feel very bad for whatever reasons. Uh, what kind of advice do you give people when they get to the point where this is not going to work? OK, so let's move on. How, how do they take care of themselves and perhaps the other person as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, obviously we're getting into relationships. We are going to be getting out of them sometimes and that's just the way it goes. And, and, you know, some relationships aren't meant to last, you know, like you said. And so, but one thing to see it, it, it key, the key thing, I think, is that, like, to not see it as a failed relationship. Sometimes we think that just because a relationship doesn't last, it was, it was a waste, it was, you know, um, we failed, I failed, they failed, whatever. And it's sort of like, that's just not a great attitude to have about it because it just, you know, you're not looking at all that came from it, right? So that's the first thing is really to notice, you know, how did this person enhance your life? What did you learn about yourself in this relationship? Um, you know, what might have you done differently? You know, not in, in a way of like self-blame or something, but just, you know, look at how the relationship was working for you for a period of time, for however long that was. And, um, kind of to look at the gifts of what was there. So I think this metric of like, you know, did it, metric on so technical you know did it last or not or how long did it last it's not that useful and it's not that kind hmm. well, you know kind of the kind of interesting thing here is that uh if it weren't for the romantic uh component perhaps uh the, that personal component that you might have of, uh, of generally two people and that's what we're talking about a breakup actually that's the, the advice you give is very sound because we know in business uh that failure sometimes is the best teacher and uh, the very successful people have had failures all the time. They weren't necessarily an emotional, a one on one relationship, but it was uh, they lost a job or uh, they were given an assignment and they screwed it up and uh, it cost their company a lot of money. But they learned from that. And uh, I guess if you can separate some of that personal angst from it, you're right. Uh, there's a lot to be learned. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What should I not do the next time? Maybe those kind of things. Yeah, I mean, it can really be an opportunity for self-improvement and self-growth, you know, because um, there's something that, you know, maybe you saw in yourself or the other person that you weren't admitting to yourself. You know, if you ended the relationship, did you stay longer than, you know, you maybe you wished you had because of you don't want to be alone or you don't want to hurt their feelings? I mean, these are all, this is not time for self-blame or anything or to even blame the other person. It's so much more helpful to just, get curious, like, um, you know, did, was there a challenge that we had that we did not face together? Was there a difficult conversation that we could have had? Or maybe you already did have those conversations, which, you know, big kudos to you to like together decide, well, can we resolve this challenge that we're having? So it's almost like we're both people willing to roll up their sleeves and um, look directly at what they each were needing. And if so, you know, that's awesome. Or if you were and they weren't, well, you know, maybe that's something to look for in a partner. How, how good are they at problem solving? You know, some small problems come up early in the relationship and it's something to learn from how they, how you both deal with that, right? Mm. Yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, a lot easier when the breakup is relatively amicable. Uh, it's very difficult when, let's say, um, you're, it's, it's uneven and, somebody breaks up with you. You didn't want this relationship to end. You don't right. see why it mm -hmm. had to end, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and I like your advice because you're right. It's easy to wallow in our feelings, you know, the emotional feelings mm -hmm. of a breakup. 
whether you broke up with somebody or they broke up with you, it's easy to do what I call the woulda, coulda, shouldas. I would have, oh, right. I would have done this. I could have, why did she do that? Um, but it's it's not really useful, is it? It's It's more productive if you learn something from it. Yeah, yeah. And I, and that's also a good time to reinvest in all your relationships, not just your romantic, you know, relationships, because there's, you know, sometimes we put too much attention on, you know, romance. I mean, I'm a big fan of romance, don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, I know when I was younger, I probably did a, neglected a lot of friendships, you know, whenever some, you know, romance was going on or something. And it's just like, you know, to enhance all your relationships, they all enrich our lives, right? And, um, and even the other thing is to, in, Look at your relationship with yourself. And that's a really key, you know, that you're the only person you're going to be with for your entire life, right? So how have you been loving your and treating yourself? And, you know, what limitations have you noticed? And can you develop some of those about, you know, maybe it's self-compassion or maybe it's forgiving yourself if you said or did something that the other person just, you know, couldn't tolerate it, whatever. Like, can you love yourself even more? And can you get clearer with, who you're looking for, you know, in terms of a partner. So it's just, there are lots of things to, you know, is there some work opportunity or some other thing you want to do for yourself in your life? Like just invest in the rest of your life too. And that can yeah. help you move through um, some of the difficulties of this time. Yeah. Well, I think some of the best advice uh, that uh, I can give anybody who's going through a tough breakup, uh, whether it's a marriage or whether anything else, is to watch this episode. So that mm. because because then they can have their love coach, they can have Michelle Fabrega, mm -hmm. who is an expert in these things and has seen this in a lot of places, is don't blame yourself. And even if you were wrong, don't blame yourself, learn something from it and move on. Learn something. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, it's not easy to move through the sadness and grief. And so, you know, you've got to be gentle with yourself because it, it hurts. You know, it hurts. You had some ideas about the future maybe with this person or you were imagining you know some dream was starting to unfold for your mm. with this yeah. person and you know what it's going to be hard at first and to be kind of accepting of that and also to know that you know this dream that you're cooking up is also still possible for you it's just going to look different mm. and it's probably going to be with somebody different and that's okay so just to allow that hopefulness to stay you know stay with you the best you can Good Great advice. advice. Thank you. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.